All right, guys, I hope you're well. Um, right now we are in a Jaguar, um, and what I want to show you is the uh, the trouble codes uh, P111 and P1000. Um, now basically, we've got this, um, this is the iCarsoft i930 here. Um, we've just sort of uh, entered the OBD2 uh, function. And what I'm gonna do is just go into uh, read codes and anyone who has their own sort of scanner will generally always get one of these codes on their scan tool. Now you can see here we've got P1111. Um, and it's got Jaguar next to it. It's a, Because it's a P1, uh, if it said P0340 or something like that, that would be a generic code. But because it says P1, it's specific to the manufacturer. And in this case, it's Jaguar. Now the P111 code doesn't necessarily mean there was a fault in the vehicle. Um, this particular code uh, comes on when, whenever, say for example, if a diagnostic technician has uh, fixed a fault and then cleared the codes, um, basically this is the code that will then show up. Um, we could clear this code now and it would probably change to P1000. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and do it. Go to erase codes. And so it say anything has been cleared. There we go, and it's gone to P1000 now. Um, basically what the system will do is, the system will do a cycle um, after, I think it's every 10 and a half or 10,000 revolutions of the engine. Um, and if it finds no faults, it will then revert back to the P1111 code. Um, it just means that the, uh, the system, diag the diagnostic system has been scanned uh, and there are no faults showing up. The P1000 basically means that it's uh, it's ready to do uh, the next scan um, and it just gives a, a diagnostic technician an idea of whether the, uh, the, the the automatic scan within the vehicle has been carried out or not. That is our understanding of it anyway. Um, we've done a little bit of reading. Um, a, a few other people say something vaguely similar or, or, or should I say quite similar. Um, there is a slight difference. Some people say the P1111 does mean that there still might be a fault code, but um, I mean, we're, we're using a, a diagnostic scan tool that will pick up any Jaguar um, manufacturer faults. So we're not finding any um, at the moment, and we've used other sort of uh, dealer level diagnostic tools, and we're, we're still unable to find anything. Um, so that's the status, and that's how it works. Uh, I hope you found this helpful, um, and I hope, if anything, it's put your mind at ease um, to know that you haven't actually got any faults within your uh, Jaguar vehicle. Uh, so thank you very much for watching.